Well, howdy ho, my peeps. This is a little um, update. Uh, look, Grant hung the chandelier over the bar. I love that. The two side lights will eventually go um, and be replaced with something else. But for right now, they're fine. They serve the purpose. But I just thought that was the most beautiful, um, I don't know, maybe 60s or 70s era uh, brass chandelier. I love it. Of course, we replaced everything with LED lighting. So it's going to cut down on the, um, on the cost of keeping the place lit. But I wanted to show you the other two chandeliers that he hung. Aren't those cool? They obviously do not match, but that's okay. Um, I like the... I like the fact that they're similar, but not the same. This little one here needs a little bit more crystal action going on in order to balance out how much crystal action we've got on that chandelier, but that should be um, easy to do. I've got all the components. I just need to, to sit down and put it all together. Um, those little, I don't know what you would call them. They're not lamps. They were just hanging decorations that we'd made for some weddings that we did. Anyway, um, I think I'm just gonna put price tags on those and sell them. I still have to paint that guy right there. I've been on the fence. I didn't know if I wanted to go with a completely new and shocking color, or if I wanted to stick with this, um, you know, this black here, which I really, really like. So I'm just kind of on the fence, don't know, but I will get that figured out soon. Um, is there anything else new to show you? I don't think so. I think that's about it. Just the new lighting. So, oh, we did get the door completely finished in the apartment. So now I have a secure place to, um, you know, to lock, to lock up tools and that kind of thing. So anyhow, let me flip this around. Um, so past few days. Yesterday was a wonderful day. I went with a friend of mine, um, dear friend of mine, who uh, uh, had her naturalization ceremony. She got her American citizenship. And it was a real honor to, to be there with all those people. Everyone was, it was just so sweet. Everyone was excited and they had their families with them. And the ceremony was not done all that well. Uh, you know, well, the federal government, I mean, how well do they do anything, right? <laughs> but but um, it was it was still somehow, it, it worked somehow. The fact that the, that the uh, audio system was off and you couldn't hear what people said. And, you know, there were a couple of keynote speakers that really didn't have much to do with the idea of new citizenship. So, you know, it was kind of, kind of sketchy in that way but the sheer um the sheer weight of happiness of everyone who was there and it, it far outweighed any glitches in the system so and I think everybody kind of felt that way at least the, the people I were was sitting around felt like that um I spent some time talking to the gal in front of us whose husband was um was Canadian and is now American um yeah, so it was also very interesting to note um, how many people from each country there were. Um, Mexico was by far the, the largest. I think there were like 520 or something, it's 512, 520, something like that, over 500. Um, then a lot of people from India, a lot of people from the Philippines, um, and all sorts of little little countries one or two people from small countries as well so it was it was neat i'm so glad i got to actually participate um in one of these ceremonies you know it's one of those things to kind of put on your bucket list at least it was on mine so i have a little video of that that may or may not be up by the time you see this i don't know um what else is going on? Well, that's it. I'm just continuing to prep. Here, let me show you. This side of the restaurant has not been prepped, scrubbed, or painted, obviously. Here's the line of demarcation. <laughs> so, 
so I have a few things left to get out of this room and then I can start scrubbing it down with um, you know with the uh, ammonia and I think I'm the only person in I know who likes the smell of pneumonia of pneumonia <laughs> of ammonia <laughs> so anyway that's what I'm up to and I will talk to you guys later Bye. okay there's mr. Grant he is making uh, well hopefully making something I can lie on my stomach on and uh, go around this floor and scrape off paint I've got my friend Ginny here who I am very studiously keeping out of frame because unlike me she's she's normal and doesn't want to be on camera but Grant loves to be on camera don't you honey yeah I can't get my kids to be on camera either well I got Nick to be on camera last month but yeah that's okay that's okay no shade thrown so anyhow let's see if this thing works okay all right now let's see if this works you guys okay all right um uh let's see okay well just just swan dive right on there Cheryl <laughs> downward dog onto downward dog downward dog Downward dog work. Okay. Beautiful. Wait, I got boobs underneath me. I got boobs. Okay, there we go. Okay, now. Off I go. Screaming like a maniac. It worked. Success. Now, I did this for you guys because I knew you would think this was hilarious. So, you know, laugh among yourselves. That's good. Well, my peeps, I think I'm going to end this um, up. Uh, update here. Jenny was a trooper, man. She came with her little scraper and we scraped the ever-loving crap out of this floor. Um, there's still a bit more to do. This whole area is about as scraped as it's going to be. All of the loose uh, paint has come off. However, I've noticed that over here by the door and over there, just kind of in this area. The paint is extremely loose, so I'm going to probably go over it at least once more um, before bringing out the um, sanding blocks and giving this all a little light scuffing, after which I am going to vacuum it. And then I'm gonna be ready for more paint. I'm so excited. That's, this has really ended up being a long process, but it's worth it. I'm glad I am taking my time. I'm glad I'm, you know, I'm not rushing this at all because it's going to end up remaining lovely. Um, yeah, so I'm going to turn this around so I can see you. So, so I hope you all got a kick out of watching me do a swan dive onto my little padded creepy crawler roller thing <laughs> oh man uh, jenny took that footage and the part she missed was when i got off of it because i i sort of had to roll off onto the ground <laughs> and then i rolled over onto my knees and i did this sort of <laughs> I, I can't even explain it I, I i need to do it again and you guys need to see it it's just hilarious but I did manage to get myself up off of this cold concrete floor without pulling a muscle, causing any muscle cramps. I did a great job. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> oh, Lord. So anyway, you know, tomorrow starts painting and I'll probably do my next update when I'm done with the floors. They're done and I'm ready to start putting everything, everything in its place. So coming into the home stretch and... It's been a lot of work, but it has been totally worth it. So I will see you guys later. Bye.